In this problem, we want to determine what the graph of this equation will look like. Well, because x is to the first degree and y is squared, that means we're going to have a parabola. In order to graph our parabola, what we're going to need to do is find the vertex. And since it's not in standard form, we can find the vertex by saying y will equal negative b over 2a, where negative b is negative 6 and a is negative 1. So we have negative 6 over negative 2, or 3. So the y value of our vertex is going to be 3. Now we need to find the x value. Well, to find the x value, we substitute in the y value of 3. So we have the negative of 3 squared plus 6 times 3. So that's the negative of 3 squared is 9 plus 18. That's going to give us 9. So we're going to have our vertex at x equals 9, y equals 3. So let's go ahead and sketch that in. y will be 3 x is going to be 9, and that's our vertex. We can see a is equal to negative 1, and that's less than 0, so that means our parabola will open to the left. And then we can get some intercepts. The x-intercept is when y equals 0, which would be negative 0 plus squared plus 6 times 0, or 0. So we have an x-intercept at 0. If we want the y-intercepts, we let x equal 0 and solve for y. We can do that by factoring out a y. So we get y equals 0 for the first factor, and we get negative y plus 6 equals 0, which means y equals 6. So let's extend our y-axis so that we get up to 6 for one of our intercepts, and the other one is at 0 is the same intercept as our x-intercept. So here we have a parabola, a smooth curve that opens to the left from our vertex going through our intercepts.